first time reaction to Lucas Mbiriba. Mbiriba? Mbiriba? Don't know where you're from, brother. I will learn about you in time. And I uh, got my trusty, got my trusty nylon string in case, you know. His rasgiados, man. Dude, respect, respect. Playing. Reaching, reaching over the top, reaching over the top, where all of a sudden your thumb can't get like a good grip, and he's just keeping his speed and power up. My brother. I've never seen someone do the thumb bass that fast. He's doing tremolo on the top. Tremolo is the, uh, oh, my hands are cold. This thing, the, that thing. But he's doing it with, while well, doing, boom, 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 What? My guy. And he's holding down his top note with his pinky. Playing where the notes would have been. If the notes were there, he would have been playing those notes. He's like, I, I ran out of fretboard. So I'm going to play where the note would be if you'd have given me enough frets. That's killer. Back up. Back up. <laughs>
guys. Thanks for watching. Dude, his flamenco technique. I know like what most people get, you know, typically guitarists and, and audience members get really obsessed with the really quick notes. But out of everything he plays, that's the easy part. It's his right hand. His rhythm on his right hand is incre incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Great flamenco technique. He must have been playing flamenco music for a long time. And um, I think my favorite thing about his performance is that he never sacrificed the rhythm to be showy. Of course, he showed off. He did a lot of cool stuff. But he never sacrificed the rhythm. He kept the rhythm going. He's like, if I'm going to do something cool, the rhythm's going to keep going. Yeah, killer, killer, killer technique uh, with those rasgiados. And he has another technique. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Um, where you do triplets. Oh, hey, I suck at this. Okay, I'm terrible at this. It's, it's fingers, thumb down, thumb up, and your fingers come with it. So it's. They're triplets. But he's going ticket 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 da ticket ticket da ticket ticket da. Oh, it's wild, wild stuff. Makes me wish I was a better guitar player. And that might not be what you're looking for, but what I'm looking for when I watch, there's so many great guitarists, but a lot of them you're like, that's great, and I'm glad they're doing what they're doing. But I love it when I see someone and I go, man, this guy makes me want to practice more. He makes me want to be a better guitar player really does great job great job and playing it on a full-size classical with no cutaway and just having the technique to to deal with the limitations of the instrument if he had a cutaway there's many things he did that would have been a lot easier but he didn't he didn't use a cutaway he used a full-size classical uh nylon string guitar flamenco guitar um and just was murderous Great. I, I'm going to still say impeccable rhythm. I'm, just, I'm going back to the rhythm. On everything he did, his finger picking, his arpeggios, his melodic stuff, his thumb work when he was playing uh, with the thumb on his fretting hand. Uh, dude. His rhythm. Rhythm. And he just showcased it. He showcased like... I don't even know. We'd have to go through and dissect. But he probably showcased... 15 different ways to play and just rotated through them. And in fact, if you go back, you're probably not going to, but if you go back before you did the tremolo, which is four notes, one with your thumb, three with your upper fingers for four total notes, he was actually playing like eighth notes. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, he, why is he playing eighth notes when he could definitely do tremolo? And then he went right into tremolo after that. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. He's like going at half speed and then full speed. I don't even know if I can demonstrate that. I don't remember it. I'll take like a chord. So he's like, he was like doing something like a. Something like that. And then went, he just took off. Ah, dude is good. Dude is good. You're right. I should check out this guy. I should watch him more. Ooh, give me shivers. Man, give me shivers. Dudes. Hey, I already said it. That dude's a player. I have to watch. He's He did so much in this video. I don't have to watch any of the videos. I am going to. But he, he did everything you need to see in one video. He's like, if this is the only video you watch of me playing, you will know I know how to play this fucking guitar up and down. And he did it tastefully. He did it to where if you don't play guitar, you can enjoy the whole thing and just be like, this guy's great. And if you do play guitar, you can be like, oh, he did that, and then he did that. No, and then he did this, and then he did this other thing. Yeah. Yep. Pretty, pretty, pretty good.